I'm going to go ahead and make something using some of the techniques and tools that I discussed in the previous parts. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a castle. So I'm going to choose my polygon pipe. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag, make kind of a circle, and then I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the inputs for the pipe. And I'm going to give it, say, 11 subdivisions on the height. And now I can see my pipe has a lot more parts. Cool, so I'm gonna right click and hold down, select face. I'm going to go to my four panel view, click in this window and press space bar to enlarge it. And I wanna grab just the top faces. So I'm gonna put a marquee around those. I'm gonna hit space bar to get out of that window. I'm gonna go back to my perspective window and click on it. And I'm gonna hit space bar to enlarge it. Now I'm gonna grab my scale tool and I'm gonna grab the center square and enlarge this. I'm gonna grab my move tool and pull it up a little bit, right about there. I'm going to right click and hold down, go to face. I'm gonna click one of the faces and I'm gonna grab every other face by shift selecting them. So shift. Now that I have every other face selected, I'm gonna go up to Edit Mesh and Extrude. I'm gonna go back to my Move tool and I'm gonna lift these up. All right, now I'm gonna build kind of a castle wall. So I'm gonna go and get my polygon cube draw cube and I'm gonna lift up to set the height. I think the height right about there looks good. Now in my inputs for that polygon cube, I'm gonna give it say nine subdivisions on the depth. And I'm gonna right click and hold down, go back to face. And the same thing I did before, I'm gonna go and select every other face. All right, I'm gonna go back to edit mesh extrude. I'm going to get my move tool and I'm going to lift these up. All right, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and click on my object mode, my move tool, and I'm going to move this around. I think actually I'm going to hit space bar, go to my four panels view go to the top view, hit space bar again, and make sure this is even. Right about there looks good. Now I want this wall to get skinnier on the top and be fatter on the bottom. So I'm gonna go up to my component mode, make sure this square is checked, and I'm gonna draw a marquee around the bottom parts. I'm gonna make these a little bit larger with my scale tool. And I'm gonna go up to the top. And I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller. So the wall kind of bows out on the bottom. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click my object mode again. I'm gonna slide that a little bit more inside of the castle. And right about there I think looks good. So I'm gonna select both the pieces. I'm going to control G on my keyboard to group them. I'm going to control D to duplicate that. And I'm going to use my rotate tool to rotate the castle exactly 90 degrees. So I'm going to move it a little bit and I can see over here the rotates 32 degrees. I'm just going to type 90 and hit enter. Now it's exactly 90 degrees. I'm going to get my move tool again and I'm going to slide this out. I'm going to hit my space bar and go back to the top view. Hit space bar again to enlarge that. And I'm going to try to move this right into the center of the wall. I'm going to do the same with this piece. It's not exactly centered. 
I'm going to try to center that right about there. Those look about the same. I'm going to highlight all these pieces and hit Control G. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate my castle. And now I'm going to rotate one of them out. And I want it to go all the way around. So I'm going to go over to my rotate Y and I'm going to type in 180 and hit enter. I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to do my best to move this castle into place. About right there. I'm going to hit my space bar, go back to my perspective window and hit my space bar again. I'd like to make an entrance for this castle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my polygon cylinder. I'm going to click and drag on my grid. I'm going to lift it up a little bit to make, give it a little bit of height. I'm going to use my scale tool to stretch it out. And I'm going to grab my rotate tool and rotate it a little bit just so I know what direction it's rotating in. And then I'm going to type in 90. Make sure it's right on its side. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit spacebar to get back to my four panel view. I'm going to click on the top. And I'm going to get this centered on one of the castle walls. Say right about there. Go back in my perspective window. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I say right about there. Now I'm going to click on my castle wall. I'm going to shift select that piece that I made that I want to be my door. I'm going to go up to edit mesh. I'm going to go up to mesh. I'm going to go to Booleans, and I'm going to click on Difference. And now I have an entrance to my castle. I'm going to give it a little bit of surrounding area, so I'm going to go ahead and just make a plane. I'm going to grab my Scale tool and enlarge this plane. I'm going to go to my Inputs. And I'm going to give it, let's say, 25 subdivisions on the width and height. I'm going to go to Mesh. I'm going to grab my Sculpt Geometry tool. Double click on it to bring up the options. I think my brush is small, so I'm going to make my brush radius 8 on the U and the L. Hit Enter. And now I can start adding dips into the landscape around my castle. I might grab the pool option and make some mountains. So if I just kind of click around on this plane that I made, I can lift these grid spaces up. Might even use the push one, shrink my sculpt geometry tool down to four, hit enter. I'm going to give this castle a little moat area around it. Bring these in and just kind of draw a square around my castle. There's a little bit of a dip around it. All right, so that's kind of a moat area. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick little drawbridge. I'm going to grab my cube tool. Draw a cube right where the drawbridge should be. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to grab my scale tool and I'm going to stretch this out. Grab my move tool and slide it out of the castle. And maybe bring it down a little bit. So that's my castle, and that's the drawbridge, and that's how to use some of the tools in Maya to sculpt and make objects. I hope this was helpful for everyone looking to begin modeling in Maya. The help section in Maya also has a lot of great information, and YouTube is an excellent resource for tutorials and guides for Autodesk Maya. I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.